Tremaine Hall has to come rushing onto the field. Play clock will not start until the ball is marked ready for play. There's the mirror ready for play signal. Davis under center. From the three. Gives the ball to McClendon. Hits up into the middle. Goes right to the goal. Touchdown, NC State. Well, there's some discussion going on now with the officials. We got an early signal for a touchdown. Yeah, I don't know what this is about. Jim Knight will explain it to us. He's coming out of the conference right now. Here's Mr. Knight. Please set the clock for 13 seconds. 14 seconds, 1-4. And we'll start on my whistle. Ball is on the, it is inside the one yard line. So no touchdown, so the points will come off. It'll still be 30 to 24, Carolina. 14 seconds left. Well, the crowd is confused because the scoreboard is showing 30-30. And we got to Mr. Knight a bit late. So it remains 30 to 24. And now the board is being changed. And now the board is being changed. The ball is inside the one yard line, 14 seconds left, no timeouts. Now the question is, can the Tar Heels hold? And can the Wolfpack get it into the end zone? How are you gonna stop T.A. from a half a yard? Chuck Amato, the state head coach, the 58 year old head man of the Wolfpack, has come all the way out on the field to talk to the officials. He is standing inside the numbers and he's upset. It is uncommon that a, a, a clear early signal for a touchdown like that will, will be overruled. McClendon the tailback. Davis will line up under center. State with no timeouts. 30 to 24 Carolina. Davis steps under center. Gibson and McClendon behind it. Davis with motion by Richard. Will get the ball to McClendon. He leaps. Oh. He doesn't get in. He fumbled the football. Carolina holds. The game is over. And Carolina has won the game. No, it stopped with six seconds remaining. They're going to have time for another play, perhaps. That wasn't a fourth down play, remember. And we got a clock stopped with six seconds. Khalif Mitchell made the stop. It was a fumble on the play. Yeah, they are saying that a Carolina fumble or a state fumble recovered by the Wolfpack. So now the Tar Heels can take a knee. Lee Pace, you had a look at it. Who got it? Khalif Mitchell made the tackle. I cannot see who made the, um, the fumble recovery. The state coaching staff, this is going to be intense after the game. Chuck Amato is jaw to jaw with one of the officials. I think the officials are going to need an escort off this uh, field when it's all over. Well, McClendon, you remember, hit right up inside. One official coming in from the side. The linesman threw his hands up for touchdown. And then it was judged that his knee touched down at the one-yard line. And then State fumbles, and Carolina recovers. And the game is over as Carolina runs one play into the line of scrimmage. What a classic. And now Madison Hedgecock and a Wolfpack player Pat Thomas were about nose to nose down near the goal line. And we've got a celebration breaking out on the field. 
but at the other end of the field, Carolina and State players are shaking hands with each other and congratulating them, each other as they should, on a game well played. For those who have been watching on WTVD, ABC 11, Digital Channel 13, thanks for watching. The final score in an epic State Carolina game, 30-24 to 24 in favor of the Tar Heels.